Welcome back. Economic development is all well and good, but people need more than money in their pockets to be able to really bear the fruits of this relative peace after war. Those who have lost almost everything to the war, like the IDPs, need to be supported and looked after while they get their lives back on track. I spoke with Mr. Gautherman of Oxfam Australia to find out how the government's IDP resettlement drive is faring one year after the end of the war. Uh, there are 73,000 people um, around that number remaining in Manic Farm today uh, and other IDP camps as well. What is their situation as it stands today? When you actually compare with the same time last year, things have considerably improved. You know? The world we live in today is very different to the world we lived in on the 17th, 18th May of 2009. Uh, yes, you're right. You know, still we have about 73,000 uh, in Vaunia camps, uh, a few thousand in the Jaffna camps. Uh, altogether, about 76,000 still living in camp settings. Most of them in Manik Farm. Uh, but by and large, uh, bulk of the others, about 214,000, uh, have left, have moved on. Uh, of which about 90,000 are living, still living with host families friends and relatives uh, and, uh, and, and are waiting you know, their time to go back uh, to their original villages. What uh, decides that? Uh, as for those people who are actually living in uh, the f with, with friends and uh, hoes, you know, it's mostly you know, their personal preferences. You know. A, the government uh, has to open up uh, the area, you know, the military has to give the clearance and then the mine clearance and mine risk uh, clearance has to be given. Uh, and then the government needs to, you know, approve for people to be resettled in those villages. But many of the people who are staying with uh, the friends and relatives, even though some of their villages are resettled, still prefer to, uh, some of them prefer to stay with their families, uh, friends and relatives. Uh, but the bulk of the rest are, have already gone back to their villages and they have taken, you know, further steps in the long journey towards, you know, sustainable resettlement. So what are they provided with? Uh, well, uh, we need to look at you know the resettlement not as a one-off event. You know, it has to be seen as a process. Uh, so in that process, uh, as soon as they are, uh, as soon as they arrive at their places, they are given uh, the the non uh, relief packages or you know NFI package, non-food relief item packages, uh, which consists of a bit of shelter material and a bit of utensils, cooking materials, that is a standard package you know, which is uh, agreed upon by all the agencies and the government concerned, uh, which uh, UNHCR coordinates through the different agencies and the government to distribute to them. Uh, in addition, they are also given shelter materials uh, and uh, they, it used to consist of tin sheets and uh, uh, there are also cement and you know, other, other materials which are being provided now. Uh, through assistance from different people, channeled mostly uh, through the government, but also through some of the UN and INGOs. Okay, but what are they doing to, to make a living? How, is their, how are their livelihoods being supported? Mm -hmm. uh, different sect sectors are faring differently and different villages are faring differently in this regard. Uh, fishing sector probably has a kind of you know, asset issue, you know, where you need to have some capital infusion to give uh, boats and you know, other fishing uh, equipments for them to start. In fact, the fish stock in the seas are available and uh, the restrictions on fishing has, you know, by and large been relaxed. So they could bounce back, you know, fairly, uh, fairly soon. It's a matter of kind of, you know, getting that streamlined with the ministry and the departments and the various providers who are ready and willing to support. Uh, but as far as mine, uh, the, the agriculture is concerned, there you do have some, uh, you know, there is going to be some lingering problems, you know, mine issue is uh, continuing, you know, and then like in any other country, mine, demining is not an overnight or, you know, not a one-off activity. Uh, there, are, there have been, you know, there have been uh, planted, uh, you know, several mines planted and they have to be gradually taken out and it has to kind of, you know, be supplemented with good mine risk education. Uh, so the agricultural land being reclaimed uh, and you know and for starting of the livelihoods uh, is to be done cautiously and it's to be done on a step by step basis i think all the mine agencies and the government and the ingos are focusing their attention uh, what i would what we would like to see is you know more coordination and a much more comprehensive uh, plan because people who are dependent on agriculture 
if they are unable to get back into agriculture fairly quickly then we need to have you know uh, corresponding you know livelihood uh, activities but on the other hand uh, uh, there are other kind of you know small businesses and you know various other enterprises which are picking up and which are you know which people are being supported to start uh, so in terms of the supply i think you know we do have things in place and with the permission of from the ptf coming through i think you know it is progressing at a fairly steady pace and i think uh, it might even pick up you know in, in in the near future it might the space of it might pick up but the issue which we will have or you know, the issue which we will kind of you know have to grapple with is in families where we have uh, the main breadwinner or you know the main uh, main kind of you know uh, uh, livelihood earning person uh, being absent uh, so in those kind of you know families i think you know there needs to be some uh, additional uh, arrangements the government says that the resettlement process is on track so in your opinion what do you think is the main challenge at the moment given the magnitude of the task right you know let's take a step back huh? let's take a step back and realize you know what we are up against uh, we have you know at least uh, you know little over you know 3 400000 people you know if you also take the uh, muslim displaced in putlam if you take the refugees you know uh, who are in india you know you put all them all of them together we are facing you know over 400000 people to be resettled in these uh, areas now that is not uh, that's higher than uh, the resettlement challenge we faced during tsunami and it took us four years to kind of you know properly see the whole process through and be satisfied or you know and be confident that you know all of us together have done a, a, a job in you know building their lives back better now focus it to the challenge at hand we have much less agencies uh, given the global financial crisis and you know various other uh, external uh, events uh, we do have fairly you know limited uh, limited resources to apply ourselves and limited players to be able to support uh, with you know the government taking bulk of the bulk of the responsibility so given that challenge i think what we have accomplished over the last year is tremendous but it is what what we should keep in mind and not kind of you know lose sight of is that resettlement sustainable resettlement is a process and we have made a promising start which requires to be followed up uh, and that requires you know better coordination you know more 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 kind of you know uh, more uh, operational level uh, you know environment uh, environment to kind of you know expedite the processes <laughs> Meanwhile, at a recent media conference, the government also spoke about how they have handled and continue to handle the IDP situation in the north. Rajya khati da pi adam bare na wang koma sathuru ve nama. Pere puluang una ek khati khale thula unge mooli ka prasna. Mama dhanu na vadhi apne pasal pavatu apni esthana ulta ke hilla. Ebani prasna gana na wak pisa na na hagiya waktu. Adha atta hata pan daak mama na thamatti thuru ve laino. Ekane अनिता සහ පුපුරණ ද්‍රව්‍ය සමු වෙනවා. ඉතින් මේ සියලු දේවල් අතරේ ඒ අතරතුරේ ජාතියන්තරය තාමත් නොයෙකුත් කතන්දර කියලා අපිට විශාල පීඩනයකට ලක් කරනවා. මොකද අපි ලංකාව විශ්වාස කරන ආකාරයට මේ ප්‍රශ්නය විසඳීම ගැන පිළක් අයගේ සතුටක් නැහැ. ඒ අය අනවශ්‍ය ප්‍රශ්න ඇතකන ඒවට පිළිතුරු දෙන්න ඕනේ, ඒවට කටයුතු කරන්න. 